Hi guys, welcome to my channel And like I actually really really wanted to plan what I'm about to say but But like I guess I'll try Because this is my first video I would just like to like share more about myself And like how I low-key got famous huh? On TikTok And Okay, I should stop saying and anyway Like Sing like so like oh mm. actually I filmed like two vi six videos oh oh Then look, this is my cake. My sis baked it for me, and then all these. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> I want to film for YouTube, you know, next time. Are you sure? <laughs> so, I forgot to... I forgot to film my other days of my split challenge. So today I'll continue with it. Wait, this one. Is this? Oh. Oh. Angry woman, and I did it. Nice. All these nice ones are not mine, obviously. I felt that it was not that good, so. I don't think I'll be posting it unless like y'all really want to see it so I might post it. Now when I added all the clips together I realized that it's actually pretty cool if I posted it. So I'm not sure. Please comment what you want to see. <laughs> I think that's just for now. I'll just talk about my journey from an ordinary girl. I only had a thousand followers on Instagram. Now I'm currently having 12k so like how did I even get there? It's not 12k anymore, it's like 11.8k now and I think it will drop even further because I have no idea why but my social media is like dying. And my TikTok, I have currently like 92k followers. Okay but I searched that being TikTok famous means that you must have at least 500k followers so I was like, oh shit, should I even like put this as my caption because it's not even like correct to put it cause yeah. But it's okay lah, cause like I felt like I need to do a start So I decided to just start an intro So to be honest, I started TikTok not for fun Like I started TikTok, actually yeah, I wanted to try it out cause it seemed fun And like many people were getting like famous from it I started TikTok on I think November last year More than half a year already Being in Singapore, I honestly, I honestly feel that it is even harder for us to be known or to get like even 50k <gasps> followers or something because i our scale is so small and i feel like based on tiktok it's like based on the region where you are at it will be targeted at those audiences in america like i've been seeing like so many of them like getting like 100 over k followers but like in singapore it's like a whole different story like i don't know why or maybe it's just me la. like i don't know man my content maybe it's just like shit or something yeah. and i started youtube because i realized that like, I don't want to just be known for my TikToks because, like, honestly though, I think a lot of people respect TikTokers, but, like, my own opinion, I feel that there are many, like, cringy contents out there, yes. and, like, it's pretty, if you are a TikToker, like, you can be famous for being cringy, those type, yes. but, no. I don't really want to be famous for those type, okay, although sometimes my videos are pretty cringy, but, basically, like, cause last time when I started TikTok, I, I really had a goal in mind that yeah, I want to be famous from this so I started doing my very first video okay, I shall insert I don't know man yeah, insert it in and then yeah, like it was super stupid but like at least it was a first that would be how I started out like how what I'm doing right now oh by the way right, I feel right whatever that I'm saying is super like my tone is so weird because I don't know like Oh, okay, never mind. I don't even think I have the YouTuber tone, but okay, I'm just trying out. Anyway, it's the first video. But so basically, I did 
a lot of weird videos at the very beginning and it was this one video where I was super happy because I made it onto the FYP like known as for you page on TikTok where like more people would see your video and then like I got like 10k views and, and then I got 20-50k then I was very shook and I was like very happy actually like all of this like success is like coming from my friends at the very beginning of my TikTok like I would ask all my friends to follow me and like watch my videos I mean if not it's super pathetic like zero views or like okay maybe three views or like ten I don't know it's like super pathetic and sad so no man okay so there was this most important video i want to say is obviously how to change your shirt without going to the toilet i mean like so many people know me for that okay super embarrassing because it was like it's like super lame man like i don't know how to say but i think because it's a very good hack so many people think that it's very useful like it's useful also so like people would want to view it but at least it was not that weird like not the cringy like weird dancers or something because I cannot dance anyway so like I don't want to be famous for dancing cause like I know I'm not good at that so that video got me for now I think it's 6 million views and like a million likes or something actually during that period I was on a holiday to Europe and like throughout the whole thing like it got more and more views like and my followers on Instagram increased like so much eh. And then my views, I remember it was 5,000 on my story When like my story you <coughs> When my story used to have like 300 plus That's how I got viral And that's like really really good Like considered me being like a nobody I did a lot of TikToks in Europe Really good over there to get on the for you page I felt that it was much easier because or maybe because my video went viral so my views would also go up I think because of that video so it's a very good thing that I got one viral video to save me and so after that my Instagram also like more people follow my Instagram more people follow my TikTok uploaded another video it was like 99% of the world do this 1% of the world do this like the stupid finger thingy like it's just like a trick like I just anyhow bullshit through one then it got like 2 million uh, views and that's pretty not bad right come to think of it I actually put in quite a lot of effort really write down a lot of notes for my tiktok okay I have this for now I write on a lot of random papers of all my tiktok ideas this is just some of it the rest I threw it away really once I did an idea and I would also write on my notes in my phone that's the kind of dedication that I do and I also actually write on my worksheets in class I when I have an idea I would literally write it down on my worksheet without caring much eh. cause I feel that these ideas are like very important to make content like cause I'm a content creator okay I have this math differentiation <laughs> I no, think I wrote no, one no, down no. before <gasps> yeah this is an example of it <laughs> like this part I, I just write on any empty space so that when I like run out of ideas I can just go and refer but I actually never refer to all my worksheets one like I don't care for my exams like, I need to maintain my TikTok and, and Instagram then I also have to maintain my studies I mean I value my studies very much also like, because I know that studying is very important my grades drop like not a lot but it still drop I actually feel like it's okay because I barely study like, cause I just keep using my phone like, I'm addicted to it so my advice to you all is to do not be addicted to your phone and just throw your phone away Hi guys, I'm in class right now and I just wanted to say that my grades are so bad What do I say man? Like, is this the end of it? I hope that Actually, what's the purpose of this? Huh? Never give up, I guess When you want to If you really want to be famous Maybe you just maintain post consistently and try to like do the latest trends and you must like maintain a balance between your studies and your social life yeah and um i also wanted to say that stress would also exist like along the way by the way if you always think that your social media is always smooth sailing it's absolutely wrong because every time i put in a lot of effort to do some videos and it doesn't get the amount of views that like so one like it flops it's I would say it's really de not depressing but like it really affects your mood a lot so you need to be able to overcome such circumstances
circumstances and like just try even harder and just don't give up I think if you really want to do it, just, just go for it Yeah, so don't be afraid to do whatever you like to do and just do whatever that makes you happy I digress a lot from the main idea which is how I got famous but I just wanted to say that I didn't rely on my looks or aestheticness or whatsoever but for me it's like because of that one viral video I got to taste fame <laughs> and that is truly a blessing and I'm really thankful for that Aww. I think that's about it for this video I apologize for delivering all my ideas in a super messy sequence I'll do better next time <laughs> and also I'm extremely sorry for saying so many likes in this video but I think I was just hinting you all to like this video yeah, yeah. It is to like a lot of my friends for helping me. By the way, guys, please comment down below what you want to see more about me and like please subscribe to my channel because you know it's important. Mm -hmm.